just wanted to tell you that I've become an asshole. All I do is uh, work and play guitar. My uh, social life is gone. Uh, and um, it makes me feel good about myself. I'm just going to show you my amazing sound. I'm using the latest uh, technology from... Uh... So that's a sound patch I've been working on for a while. And uh, you can um, download it here. Um, if you can't find it there, then you can search here. Uh, oh, wait, I got it. It's here. There it is. So anyway, with my new sound, uh, you can probably hear my articulation is better than ever. Um, it, it's got a lot to do with my technique, but it's uh, also pretty much a sound thing. So you have to spend a lot of time uh, tweaking the sound. Uh, let me show you once more. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of work behind that, obviously, but, uh, you know, not anyone can do it, but uh, anyone could dial in the sound if they had my equipment, but they don't. I've really felt recently that my phrasing has become more musical. I think it's got to do with the way you know my fingering works now. I'm trying to keep a sort of equal distance between my uh, fingers, and it's done miracles. You know, you can just tell by you know, but just listen to this. <laughs> Uh, also, I, I've, I've stopped playing uh, with backing tracks because I find it, it really can play some tricks with my timing. Uh, so I find if I don't have a backing track, it just everything works better for me. My practice session uh, will, will be something like this. Uh, and then uh, it's pretty much a warm up for my, you know, the songs I play with my band. Uh, and, you know, the, the songs I play with my band, they pretty much sound like this. Um, yeah, they do. Yeah. Also, I've been working really hard on playing left-handed. Uh, and I don't, you know, do it the way other people do, you know, where they have their, um, you know, they, they buy a left-handed guitar and they put their thick string here and the thin string here. I just use my usual guitar and I turn it the other way around. because I think all the other methods are cheating and uh, you really got to be able to shred it this way. Uh, and uh, yeah, I can pretty much play anything left-handed and right-handed. And you know, it's the same thing for me. Now, let, let me show you an example. Here's another, my favorite licks. I'm gonna show you left hand just to illustrate that I can do pretty much anything, both left hand and right hand. Uh, it goes like this. One more time. Also, I, I play exclusively on these costume-built Ibanez guitars. Um, they're built by Mr. Ibanez himself. Uh, I think his, his name is uh, Chang Ibanez. Um, I don't really remember because I, you know, I don't really bother speaking to, to him. I just write him an email and tell him what I want. I can't be bothered to communicate with him because all I do is play guitar and work. Uh, so yeah, he built me these guitars and uh, you know, they're, they're crucial to getting my sound and it's really important for me also to know that uh, no one else um, has the same guitar as me so they can't, no one else can ever play like me. Uh, I mean, no one else can do this. Uh, and to me that's, you know, it's important because it sort of makes up my originality and my style. So uh, thanks, uh, uh, Mr. Rybanis, whatever your name is. Also, there's something that strikes me as really weird with other guitarists. It's uh, the fact that they suck. Uh, I, I started noticing this a while back when I saw other people playing. I, you know, I noticed they suck. And I felt a little weird to me that, you know, they suck, but they do. So, uh, yeah. Uh, something else which really helps me uh, when, you know, in the creative process uh, is um, I... It might sound a little weird, or, but, it, you know, I, I make faces that help me in the creative process. So just an example of what I came up with when, when doing that specific facial expression. Uh, it's something like, it goes something like this. And I, I don't think I would ever have written that if it hadn't been for, you know, this new uh, facial expression. It's a kind of thing you can only discover after, you know, decades of, of 
musical experience. It's not that something you can just make up in your you know bedroom while watching YouTube. I know it, this doesn't really help you because you can never you can never play these things. Um, but it's uh, it's been really good for me, uh, really useful for me. Once I met a guitarist after a gig uh, who was doing all these. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> those <laughs> kind of silly things and uh, you know I I couldn't help but approach him and ask him what the hell what the hell are you doing you know he was first of all he was playing with two fingers mostly you know whereas I you know I practice hard on, on playing with all fours and it's, it's absolutely superior so and the guy was like uh, what do you mean uh, so I was like come on you, you can't play that stuff I mean no one wants to hear that no one wants to see that so I, I think I think he got a little offended. He was like, you know, so so what do you think I should play then? Or, you know, so you know, I just <laughs> I just had to show him. You know, I showed him one of my favorite licks. I, I can't remember exactly what I did, but it was something like I mean <laughs> you should have seen his face though. You know, he was he was doing all those, all those silly stuff and, and the and I and I showed him basically how 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 to do it. If I mean, if you're a real guitarist, and if you, you if you put a lot of devotion and practice time into your own style, and he, I think I floored him. You know? <laughs> he was like, was like, uh, first of all, he, he turned pale, you know, uh, and and uh, and you know, he put down his guitar. and said, "Man, you know, you can take my guitar. I, I don't want to do this anymore." So. Of course, I, I didn't really want to put him down, but you know, sometimes, you know. The things you see when you don't have your gun, <laughs> you know. I couldn't shoot him, so I, at least I had to tell him how bad he was. And I, I think in retrospect, he's probably going to thank me, you know, because you know all the time he spent on you know playing with those two fingers only, he can use that much better now. I mean, he can he can like work on McDonald's or you know really, really do something with his life now. And all the extra time extra time I gave him, because uh, I think. Sometimes, sometimes being realistic, you know, might hurt in the in the short run, but in the long run, it's so superior. And that's basically the reason, you know, I, I decided to record this video for you to sort of explain things that you know they might turn you down in the beginning, but I think that in the long run, it's going to be like a game changer for you. Hopefully, you're going to you know put the guitar down and, and start doing something else. And uh, not only is that going to be good for you, like I said, you can do something more useful, but it's going to be really good for me because uh, then, you know, I'm pretty much going to be the, the only guitarist if I succeed. And, uh, you know, let, let's be serious. I mean, who, who will want to listen to you when, when, you know, I can do this stuff? Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sorry, sorry, I, I didn't mean to, you know, put you down or anything like that, but it... It's the truth, yeah, it's the truth. Also, what I like to do is, you know, surprise people. Uh, and, you know, typically I, I would do something like, what I do sometimes, not, not all, you know, you can't overdo it, but what I do sometimes is, um, instead of, uh, typically I do, I do something like this instead, you know. And it, <laughs> it, it can be so effective if, you know, uh, played tastefully and also, played at the right spot. Uh, this is, you know, as always with, with music, you wanna, you know, just because you know something cool, you, you can't do it all the time. So you have to save it for the right occasion. But I mean, that, that specific thing is so effective when done at the right time, you know. People's jaws just drop and, you know, they understand how, how amazing you are. And, uh, now, is that, is that kind of feeling? Most people never get, you know. And I, I get it quite often. Yeah, just, just to exemplify, when, when I'm done, like this, and people, you know, they, they come up to me, they, you know, they do their little thing and show me that I'm God. <laughs> you know, it's a bit flattering, you know. Of course, I knew before I was, you know, the best guitarist in the world, but, you know, when someone approaches you, it makes you feel a little good for a second, and, and uh, yeah, or a little extra good. And that happens quite a bit, you know, <laughs> you know. I, I, you know, just after this video, you're, you're going to see everyone's going to tell me I'm, I'm so good. Huh? Yeah, and I mean, I've worked hard to get here, but it, <laughs> it makes me a little bit happy, you know. Sometimes I'll just 
look myself in the mirror and, and tell myself when I need to hear it, how, how good I am, you know. Uh, and, uh, but then, you know, it's much better being there on stage and, and getting that feedback from people. And they tell you, you know, you're the best guitarist in the world, Chris. You're really, I can't think of anyone better than you. Yeah. That's me, you know. I'm better than everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm better than you, of course. I mean, you're nothing. <laughs> but even if you, you know, look at someone that's actually something, I, I'm even better than him. It won't be her. Uh, so I'm better than him. Yeah, and you know, you can, and you can even go a level above that and picture someone who's better than the guy who's better than you. Even him, I'm going to be better than him. It won't be her. Yeah, so I'm going to be better than him. Yeah, you know. It, it comes after a lot of hard work. So, I mean, don't, don't think that, I've, you know, I've been sitting here in this chair my whole life and I just got good, you know? It doesn't work like that, you know? Because I've been sitting in this chair and I've been doing... <laughs> yeah, I'm so good.